Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And not only I am back. I am back too. Yes. Yeah. And this is a special day for us because back by popular demand, only because it was wanted so bad, it is the second recoming of the Shit Hits the Fan Mystery Gearbox. I have stopped this thing twice. And twice it has been um, demanded by the viewers that we bring this back. This is one of the most wanted packages. And this is the weirdest size and shape that this box has ever been. So I think the last time we looked at this was, was September. Um, or maybe October. I don't really remember. But here it is. Uh, you know? And we're ready to look at our shit hits the fan. So it's December 2018, right in time for the end of the year. Um, we're going to do the unboxing. And Aiden was really excited when he saw which box this was to help me out. I was. Yes, he was. Okay. So we're going to open the box today with the off-grid knives, Black Mamba. Now, this is the pre-production um, that was given to me by the uh, owner, Carrie. But what's really exciting is that you guys have been asking me for info on it. Guess what? The production version of this knife has just been released. Um, now, if you're not familiar with it or you just need a reminder or whatever, I'm going to put the unboxing and the initial review video, a link to it, in the video description. This is one of the nicest EDC knives I've reviewed in a really long time. And um, I put my order in for one of the regular production versions. You know what? It's really not much different than this pre-production sample anyway. Um, but you guys have been clamoring for details on when is it going to be released. So it is available at Off Grid Knives. So anyway, you can check out the review video on this knife. It's all premium materials. You know, um, oh, we've got a PETA. Pita. Are you? Yes, he's. <laughs> Peter's here to demonstrate that he's... Are you trying to cut yourself? Are you cutter? Is that what you've become, Peter? See, this is why I didn't want to cut too far down into it. So we are still in the habit of opening the box upside down because <laughs> all this stuff is packed upside down. Yeah. So let's see what we've got. It looks like we've got some items we've already had before, but that's cool. So the way the box works is standard, just like all the other... Most of the other pres prescription boxes... No, subscription boxes. You've got a primary, a pro, and an elite. We are unboxing the elite. So we've got everything that comes in the primary and the pro, and then those extra items that makes it elite. We are paying uh, $89.99 monthly to get everything that comes in these boxes. So we'll unbox everything, and we'll go through every item as, as it comes in the primary box and the pro box and the elite, and talk about the MSRP values and uh, put these items in our piles as we go. So let's get everything out of the box. PETA is just anxiously awaiting a an empty box for him to have. You want the box, huh, Kitty? Is that what you want? Yeah, that's it. Go in that box. He did it. PETA, do you want to give us a box review? Uh, yeah, this box is pretty good. Okay, all right, there we go. We've got everything set up in our in our piles to unbox. We've got a very happy Peta Kitty Cat right there. We haven't had Peta Kitty Cat on the channel in a really long time. Yeah, Are you guys, you guys got your Peta Kitty Cat fill? Yeah? You good? Okay. All right. So we're going to start now going through the primary box. Um, so the primary box will cost you $19.99 a month. Now I'm gonna stress, everything in here is MSRP value, all right? So, uh, you know, the, the thing is, everything in these boxes, in, in the Shit Hits the Fan boxes, comes from the um, CH, Cadillus, Cadillus, however you want to pronounce it, Bud K boxes. Um, and that's where all these prices come from. So, as we go through here, we are starting with the stocking cap with black patch with an MSRP of $12.99. Now, we're starting with basically, so it's a black watch cap. Um, it's actually a nice feeling cap. Uh, one size fits all, I guess. I don't really know what makes it $12.99 because you can get these caps for a, a lot cheaper. Is it this this vinyl patch here? Yeah, I think it's the patch because it has like a logo. That must be it. Um, it doesn't really seem to be anything fancier. This is their standard hat making company. Made in China, of course, but um, it, it's probably a warm hat. I think that you can get hats like this without a patch on it, which is what I would prefer um, for cheaper, but Aiden has already claimed ownership of this hat. Otherwise, I'd throw this hat in the giveaway, but Aiden... Yes, I have. 
What do you think, Aiden? I think it's pretty nice. Feel good? Comfortable? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, looks like a hat. Okay. Yeah. Feels like my other green one is way softer. This so, one is a little bit, like, kind of squeezes in on me, but that's because I'm smaller, and I think you guys, you'll have different feelings on it. Yeah. Is it, is it scratchy or is it soft on your ears? What do you? It's soft on my ears. It's soft on Very your ears. Okay. But like on the forehead, it's kind of itchy. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start off just by putting this in meh because it yeah it's a hat it's great but it's you know it's a little overpriced and it's uh I could I could get one of these at Walmart cheaper you know well it might not have this patch but I'm okay with that so we're gonna go meh first item out Peta you agree with that yeah Peta's yeah, Peta's agreeing okay. Moving on to the Shit Hits the Fan Assisted Opening Knife for $12.99. I hate when they do this. So they give you that, the Assisted Opening Knife, and there is not a single item in the box that is labeled on their other boxes as Assisted Opening Knife. So you just have to do process of elimination by looking at the names of everything else. And we are left with, yeah, this one, Aiden. We're left with the Yellow Jacket Pocket Knife. Um, couldn't they just say, now I know why they do this. It's because not every box is going to get the exact same knife. They're all going to be a spring assist knife. I get it. That's why they do it. Um, you know, because they're, they're just using the stocks of what they have. But it gets annoying sometimes. But anyway, we've got the yellow jacket pocket knife. And uh, I'm already not so thrilled. Not impressed. But it says assisted opening, glass breaker, and bottle opener. Ooh, that's, you know, I was ready for a piece of, like, yellow plastic, but not that. Ooh, look at that gold shiny oh, insert. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Wow. So, yeah, you got a little aluminum insert there. Um, the rest of this is all plastic. So, plastic, uh, aluminum, um, steel liners. Uh, a knife that never heard of centering ever in its life. Um, that's that's cool. A one-way clip. So not only do you not get a knife that's centered, but you get no soup for you whatsoever. Um, bottle opener. Okay, you know. Hashtag no more bottle openers. We still have that. The glass breaker is interesting. It's. I'm wondering what's holding that firmly in place. It's not firmly in place. It's not at all. It just wiggles around. Look at that. Yeah. And that's just from me moving it right there. I don't know how, how much it moves. I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, gosh. Oh, the mall ninja is strong with this one. Oh, yeah. You got a little bit of pattern on one side, the flashy side, and nothing on the other. Wow. Nothing at all. This is, oh, this is something, guys. This is something. Um, I can't wait to see how it opens. Not too bad. It has a little bit of a sluggish release, and that coating is guaranteed to come off uh, whenever you cut anything. Um, so, it could be comfortable. It was right there. It was almost comfortable until I squeezed out on the handle, and the bottle opener went straight into the meat of my hand. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not, that doesn't feel good. Oh, not yeah, at all. I don't, I don't want that. Would you like to try it in? No, thank you. No? You don't even want to hold it? No. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, so we almost had something that could have been, it, it could have been a redeeming feature. Uh, the handle design could have been a comfortable handle design, except where they put that bottle opener. It, it's, let's get a close-up of, like, you can see when I, when I wrap my hand around it, right into there. Um, I, I just... I don't know what people are thinking sometimes when they design these things. Steel-wise, I'm sure that if we look on the Bub K website, it just lists it as stainless steel, and that is it. It has like a half fuller. Once again, decorations and, and like design on one side of the blade and not the other. This thing is just so magical. Oh. It's unique. Oh, it's something, Aiden. It is something. Um, the lock up there put something light behind it so maybe we can see it better. This is one of the thinnest liner locks I've ever seen on a knife ever. For me, I... Well, that held. Oh, no. It went straight to just about 100% lock up there as I did the lock test. I mean, at least the lock didn't break. And now... Wow. Wow. I 
I guys. Would, for me, I would say it's probably that pile. Are you going meh? Yeah, I'm, going I'm meh. thinking of throwing this in the garbage disposal and letting it rattle around for a while and then taking what's left and then melting it down and then maybe turning it into a bullet and then putting that bullet into an overpressurized shell casing and letting that bullet destroy the barrel of the gun we shoot it out of and then taking that gun barrel with that bullet still in it and then melting that down and then seeing if we can put that inside of an explosive device and send it to Afghanistan. Yeah. And Wow. That, that is, oh. I can't stop laughing. Don't, don't, because this knife is laughing at all of us right now. Um, I want to put this in the giveaway, guys. I do, but I have to, I have to keep this as, like, this has to go into the Hall of Fame of, like, just crap. This is do it what exactly you said. The Hall of Crap. This is, this is, oh my god. You want me to make you a hall of crap? Literally out of cardboard? Yes, make me a hall of crap. And we'll hang stuff <laughs> okay. No, wait. Just try to wait. Listen. So, just I want you to hear. I want to. I want to try to capture the sound of closing it. Listen. Do you hear that? I don't know if you can hear the scraping of the blade against the liner. I heard it. Wait. It's it's hard to capture, but it it just. Wow. Now I wonder what other knives they put in the boxes besides. The yellow jacket. Um, this this gets a whole new pile. This is, I think, Hall of Crap pile. Like I for those think, like, special crap. special Ultimate Mall Ninja Hall of Crap. Um, I don't even three. know. Peta, if you find a big lump in your litter box, <laughs> I want you to just go to the bathroom anyway. Okay, just it'll be buried under the litter. Okay. This this oh my gosh. That is this is crap. some. Oh, you know what? We haven't even tested out the blade. We we've got to at least try it. Yeah, I'll go get the paper. Okay. Wow, that's actually impressive. That at least the blade is finished nicely. So in a real emergency, if you needed a blade, it will cut. But it is absolutely garbage. I have a feeling it will cut for about 10 minutes before the thing starts to fall apart or self-destruct or whatever. So yeah, definitely Hall of Crap. Yes. Uh, this I will use that box to make the Hall of Crap. Well, first we gotta get PETA out of it. Good luck uh -huh. on that. So yeah, this this knife has to go in the don't like it pile. Um, but, wow, $12.99. I would expect to be able to buy this. Like, if I was back home growing up and like I was not going to school one of those days that I didn't go to school and abuse my New York City bus pass. Because in New York City, we don't have school buses. We get passes for the trains and the buses to get to and from school. And I ended up in Times Square instead of at school for some reason. Oh my gosh, it happened. And I ended up in Chinatown in Manhattan. And I found one of these for like $2. Uh, yeah, this is, that's what I think of it. Anyway, okay. We've spent way too much. We've given this knife way too much attention. It, it does not deserve any attention. No. It deserves Peter. It deserves Peter's litter box. Yeah. Okay, so moving on from there. Woo! Moving on to the. Wow. So we're going on to another knife. God, I hope it, it's better. The double shot fixed blade knife for $9.99. Yeah. So. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Well done, Aiden. <laughs> I ruined the video. Oh, no, it's staying in. It's staying in. Yeah. Okay. We're going to listen to that. Well, listen to that in slow-mo later? Okay. All right, so plastic sheath. Kind of a little bit more esque, but not exactly. Um, well, staying in. Okay, I'm impressed. One shot, one kill. With your knife. <coughs> okay. All right. Okay, um, Mongolians. Do I'll not play you again. test that on me. Do not. Mm -hmm. Or Peta, or Tato, or Zelda. Wait, never mind. You can test that on Zelda if you want. No, we're good. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, uh, you know, nice little, you know, mini Bowie shape. Um, 
I have to say, the weight feels good. I mean, normally I'd, I'd make fun of this kind of design. <clears throat> You've got rubber over mold onto this uh, plastic handle. I have a feeling they're trying to make it look full tang here, but you can feel the weight is the weight and balance is off. It is not a full tang knife. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure what their intention is. I have to check the Bud K catalog, you know, for the description. If they mean for this to be a lesser or, or less lethal option, not a non-lethal option, but you know, temple smasher type deal right there at the bottom, or if that is for scraping, um, you know, ferro rod. But then again, you have 90 degree spine there, which you could scrape the ferro rod too. Um, or if that's just, again, supposed to look like this is a full tang knife, and that still comes all the way up through. But you can tell by the, by the weight of this, that is not full tang at all. It does have a nice lightweight to it though, um, and a nice grip. I, I have to I have to say, you know, I like to call crap crap, but I have to say that as much as I was ready to prepare for this one to be crap, it, it feels nice. It's It's got a nice grip. Um, it's got good balance. It, um, it might have the potential to be a decent knife, a low cost, decent knife. I'm sure the steel is not that good at all. Um, it's got that 310. Can you see that 310 mil stamped on there? Um, I like the lanyard hole placement, but. Two knives in a shit hit, oh damn, I was just about to say two knives in a shit hits a fan box that slice nicely in a row. That's crazy talk, but that's not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. This one, we can definitely put in the giveaway though. Um, I think that this is uh, for general use. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to risk putting this one through hard use. But general use, I think you've got a, a decent blade here. I mean, I wouldn't put it up against a Mora or something like that. Uh, one shot, one kill on your knife though. That's just stupid. But anyway, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna put this one in. I like it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm sure the steel again listed as mystery steel. We're probably dealing with a 420 or a, you know, um, three or five CR type blade. But for the price paid, it seems like it, it is not a bad deal. So first item and I like it right there. Next, we've got the mini blue camo flashlight with an MSRP of $6.99. Aiden, uh, top box right there. Nope, one above that. Okay. Yep. Mini blue camo flashlight. Um, somehow doubting it's gonna have batteries in it, so I might have to go get some batteries from my little box of batteries. That thing is cool and very handy for when the controller runs out of batteries. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, the battery box? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so. <coughs> Uh, I don't think we should pay any attention to the, the looks of it at all because it is all like aluminum it. and we can make this thing look any way we want to in the shop. But big old LED and it's got its zoom. So I'm thinking, I'm guessing, I'm predicting we've got three modes, bright, low, and flash, all controlled by the on-off switch. That's what I'm guessing out of this thing. And single double A operation here. So one AA battery installed, and we've got one half click. Oh, I already I all the way clicked it. So let's do that again. So bright, dim, flash. Pretty predictable. Um, standard little Chinese made light. Not the standard little um, very square patterned LED though. That's that's nice. For me, when I ever do that light, it kind of looks like a like a little file save. Little file save? That's it. Yeah. It's an interesting way to look at that it's little got shape. The lines and the little thing on top. Yeah. Um, not the worst light you could have. Um, just I, you know, one of the things I don't like is you guys know how I feel about the um, combination on/off and mode switch. But this is something that I don't know if you can tell. I think it's probably the top coat that's on there pretty heavy on this thing. On top of that camouflage pattern. The light itself, um, the aluminum, has a nice weight to it. I don't know if it's you know any water resistance or anything because there's nothing on it. 
And again, as I as I go look uh, online, I'll find out. Trailblazer. This is a brand you can find at Walmart, you know, pretty easily. Six ninety nine. Again, eh, I think you could probably find this kind of light cheaper. Something like AliExpress or one of those kind of websites. I'm sure you can find it for cheaper. I don't know. I've never seen this particular one in a Walmart, whatever. As for which pilot's going to go in, I, I don't know. I think, um, hmm. I'm going to put it in meh. Yeah, I can't decide if I like it or if I don't like it either. Uh, I like the color designs on it, but same with you. I don't like the way the bottom directs. Yeah, I don't yeah, exactly. That that switch is killing me. So we'll put it in, man. It's a reliable light, though. I, again, also having no idea if it's waterproof or anything like that. Any water resistance, IPX drop proofing at all. I don't know. Uh, next is the magnifying telescope for nine ninety nine. This is another one, magnifying telescope. But what does it say in the box? Magnifying binocular. Magna yeah, the bug. It's this. I'm wondering if there's even anything in this box. It feels like there's nothing there, but. This is the first item we've got some specs on, so let me hold that up for you for a minute. Okay. Um, I do not eat. Sorry, I bang the camera and a little lens cloth in the package. I wonder why they have that do not eat stuff. It, it keeps moisture. It absorbs moisture from the package, so it keeps things from getting all wet and stuff. But they put do not eat on it because people might eat it. It's not good to eat. I would not eat that if I got it from a package. Well, Unless it was a package, like a McDonald's package. Most people wouldn't, but you'd be surprised. So, um, there it is. It's basically, it is exactly what it says monocular. It's, it's one half of a binocular. Um, it's kind of hard to gauge here in a kitchen. I think this is also going in meh. It's, it's honestly, it's, I mean... I look, like you like it? Yeah, it's, look, when we get this box, we're not thinking high quality stuff. We're not. Um, and we're not, like, we don't have that expectation set up. And this does not deliver that. So it's not like I'm upset that it's, like, a poor quality item, but <clears throat> it is. It's a poor, it's, it's a low quality item. It just, it really is. This is not a Tasco item at all. Uh, now, we've got instructions here for a Tasco if you read it in here, um, it talks about some models of Tasco monoculars. So I have a feeling that this is a um, Chinese copy of the Tasco monocular, and then they, you know, forgot to change that in the the documentation and everything. Uh, this is just it, it peels right away. But so I'm gonna throw this one in. I mean, it's more of a toy than anything. It honestly is. It's it's probably. Another thing you can find for a lot cheaper than nine ninety nine out there. Um, it's like a kid's toy binocular set. You have to put it right up against your eye to get it to do anything, and even then, it's like the magnification is not very good. Um, I'm looking from the kitchen to the living room table, and it barely magnifies a sprite can that's on the table. But um, I'm gonna put that in the don't like it pile just because. You know, some people might say, well, it's better than nothing. I would rather not waste my time trying to identify stuff through that little thing um, and, and squint and see something far away than mess with this. Or actually go out and, and like, you know, buy something that, that is better than this. Um, not a very good item at all. So that's going to go and don't like it. So we've got a like it, two mans and two don't like it's. Um, now we're going to bring in a, even that 20 in one multi-tool. I've already, I've already reviewed this. Um, this is, people get offended when I use the word copy, but this is a direct copy of, I can't remember what company makes it, but I mean, this is just a copy of another tool we've already seen on this channel put out by another company and I believe in fact to say the truth that the one that I looked at was also a copy so this is like the copy of the copy oh, and I dropped it I was not at all impressed when we looked at that tool so I'll tell you what um, if you're really interested in seeing what this thing is about I'm gonna put a link to the review of this tool in the video description so that we don't go through all 20 features by the way in my opinion it doesn't have 20 separate tools on here um, I think that's a bit gimmicky, but 
this is a, you know, it is what it is. Um, this one feels even lower quality than the other one I looked at. Um, but it has, you know, four little screwdrivers. It actually has more than four screwdrivers, but, you know, they count your carabiner clip as a tool. That's, you know, one of the 20 tools, which is ridiculous. Um, this ruler is a tool. This is supposed to be like a, a saw over here. Um, this rough part, that's a tool. And this whole thing is just a tool, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I don't like this personally. I'm going to put this in don't like it because of, you know, my experience with it. But if you're really interested, I encourage you to check out the other video. I just don't want everybody watching this video to have to sit through an extra five, six, seven minutes of going through this whole tool um, when you could just check out the other, like a complete review of this item in, a, in another, you know, separate thing. And we'll move on with this unboxing now. But this is going directly in don't like it right here. They're charging $9.99. Or saying it's worth $9.99, I'm telling you, I have seen this thing online for like $2, $3. Um, flat out, I have from some, some websites. So that is everything in the primary box. Now they are telling us that there is an MSRP value of $62.94. Now I've already told you that we can knock off, you know, six or seven dollars just on one item right there that we can find it for less. Uh, you guys, my viewers, are awesome at finding things for less than what the MSRP says it is um, on these packing cards. Again, this all comes straight out of the Bud K website um, and the Bud K catalog. So you look there, you'll find this for that exact price. But if you look around, you might find stuff for a lot less. Moving on to the Pro Box, we get everything that comes in the primary box. Uh, we're gonna pay a little bit more. We're gonna pay $49.99 a month. So it's about twice the price. Actually a little bit more than twice the price. Um, we're going to add two more items. We're going to add the paracord chainsaw and the candle lantern. So Aiden, can you hand me that bag? Other one. Oh. Yep. I don't think I have the chainsaw. We're going to find out. On the pack, I did see some scissors. Well, we'll see. Paracord chainsaw. So the pouch, um, I like. Besides the fact that it has just this single belt loop, decent quality nylon there. Um, I like the quick release clip rather than you know snaps or anything weatherproofed on the inside all the way around that's cool um, it's not adjustable though that would be my only complaint but so it is oh. a chainsaw now we had a black legion one i think in a, another box a long time ago it is the same kind of chainsaw but instead of having string and pull handles it has 550 cord handles. So what's cool about this is now this chainsaw does work. Um, it's cold and dark out, which is why we're doing the unboxing inside now. I can attest to the fact that this chainsaw does work. If you wrap this around um, a log or a branch and you put some effort into it, this thing makes quick work out of stuff. But now you also have, I don't know how much, and again, looking on the website, if it says how much 550 cord, but you have I'm willing to say a good, what, somewhere between 10 and 30 feet of 550 cord for emergencies. So you want me to pay, you know, 15, what is it, 16.99? I say that that is worth it for one of these guys. Um, these things are very effective in the outdoor world. Um, I've used this exact kind of chainsaw before, just with a different handle. This is going to go and like it. I think it's a good price um, for everything you're getting, uh, the saw and the 550 cord cool deal od green my favorite color i wish we were outside right now doing this though just because these are actually fun to use too they're just how, how does it work though i didn't see any blade on the. there are little see these things there's little teeth see these teeth these get into the wood as you're pulling oh, through there and there's is. there's right. blades on two sides so they uh as and then you pull back and forth like this as you're going and yeah, like um, like chainsaw. Except, like um, not except those instead of an big saws. That yeah, except in two people do. Kind of, yeah. But the way a chainsaw works is it has a gear and it pulls that chain around and around. Except you're the one pulling the chain back and forth. Mm -hmm. So you are the gas engine of the chainsaw. Okay, finally we got something else in the I like it pile. Let's look at the candle lantern for twenty four ninety nine. 
we get these over and over in a lot of different boxes. Now, I don't know if that means people are trying to get rid of them or they actually have some value and people like them. I've heard people say, I've never used one of these, but I have a few of them and people really do like them. So it comes with, um, it's UCO brand, obviously. Uh, three nine hour candles and then you have this lantern. I have heard from people that this lantern offers you a good amount of light and heat when you use it. Well, it's a good question. You like take something off and so, the candle? Yeah, the candle goes in the bottom. So first, it's got a uh, glass shield there and you can hang it up. <laughs> so you get light, but it also makes heat from the candle that, ref that kind of reflects out of there. Um, so everything's protected inside there. You can see how much candle you have left. These candles are pretty much readily available. So it's not just the lantern, but it comes with three replacements. So four candles, one ready to go, and then three in there. Oh, so that little nub up there is the candle? That little nub is the candle. It looks like a crayon sticking. So unfortunately, you do have to take this part out to light it. Um, ours was a little bit stuck, a little bit stiff to take it out the first time. But you take it out, light the candle, and put it right back in. Oh, the wick catches right away. That's nice. That's fast. Yeah. That's got nice safe protection. Oh, screws right back in, and you can see the light. Ooh, that's good. Yep. So, you're not going to give yourself a whole lot of light, but enough light, and yeah. it's warm. I mean, it, it is making some heat. You can see it's lighting up our area here. Pretty effective, and again, warmth. It's working pretty well to light up our work area here. I mean, just, I'm feeling kind of like Indiana Jones. Go get me a whip and a hat okay. and a skull. Now, okay. <laughs> go ahead and turn the lights back on. This is going to go into the I like it section. It would be good for like a, um, a cold night if you're going camping. Yeah, in a Can tent like, or, yeah, you know, a little cabin or something. If you get cold, just light up one of those. Mm -hmm. It would be good. Get a light and warm. Okay, so. Um, moving on. That's everything in the Pro Box. Moving into the Elite Box. Oh, so sorry. The Pro Box total MSRP is $104.92. Moving into the Elite Box. Again, we, we mentioned. So I paid $89.99 for this box. Total retail MSRP is $164.90. So the first item in the Elite Box is the 15-in-1 multifunction shovel for $49.99. We're going to hold on to that. We'll make that the last item. We're going to start with the Duke Cannon Campfire Soap for $9.99. It's... This. Because it's a big ass brick soap. of soap. Big, soap. A, big ass brick of soap. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's Dad, tired. Who says that? Somebody got to stay past bedtime to do the unboxing and somebody needs to go to sleep. No, I don't. So, it is exactly what it says. Oh. Now, Duke Cannon's got a good reputation. Um, I, I, just, <laughs> like, I just saw that. Man in the USA, not from France. Not for clowns. Um, and then at the front, it says... Big ass for the soap. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I... I don't know. It's soap. I mean, honestly, it's it's soap. Yeah, that's important, but... I'm not buying these boxes for soap. I I know... I, I don't know where to put this. In the, I don't like it or the, or the map pile, because I know that this is a, a quality bar of soap. And there's a lot of things you can do with soap in a survival situation besides... Um, just, you know, washing yourself. There are different things you could do with it. Like if you're uh, trying to repair stuff, soap makes your needle go through. If you put the needle in the soap and it and helps it go through material easier. There, there's stuff you could do. I'll put it in that. I'm not even going to talk about soap. That's uh, not what I want in these boxes. Let's just, there's soap. Yay. Let's soap. get to the last. This is like, I guess if this box ever had a big ticket item, here it is. The 15 in one survival shovel. Or sorry, the 15-in-1 multifunction shovel for $49.99. We have, I think we've seen, if not this exact same item. Um, ooh, this one has a hologram. A hologram? What kind oh, of hologram? Must be good. I don't know. Oh. oh. You know it's good when it comes in foreign military camo. This is not American military, by the way. Just so you know. We don't put red in our camo. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen this exact shovel when we open it up. Battle box, not battle box, sorry. Um, 
Elf Outpost has given us this shovel once. Battle Box might have given us the same shovel too, once upon a time. Belt loop, I'm sure there's a strap in there. Yep. Seen this, ex same, this exact same thing once upon a time. But did they not give us a shoulder strap? They didn't even give us a shoulder strap. It's cold. Yeah. Well, it's metal. That's what happens when metal was outside waiting for us to bring the box in. Padded pouch though. Nice, and it's organized, so you know, pieces stay separate. No instructions in the box, are there? Nope. So you just get to figure this out on your own. There are multiple pieces with different things in it. You move everything over. Oh, no, this is the knife, okay. And I'm just putting this together from the other ones that I've seen. So I know we've got a ferrule rod. I think we've got a saw in here somewhere. There's a ferrule rod and a whistle. Wait, hold on. Isn't that like the thing to light fires with? Yes, it is. What's that? It is a slightly rusty, slightly rusty screwdriver bit. It's cool. And this handle, you can use as many or as few pieces as you want to uh, make this happen. So, for example, if you want to just use this knife. I just noticed I don't really see the giant shovel front piece. It's in there. Oh. Um, there you go. So, you know, take a look at that high quality. Can you, I don't know, can you see it canted off to one side the way I can? Hi, Peter. You're back? I haven't really seen Peter. What do you say? Well, at least this one's sharp. The other ones we got were were not as sharp as this out of the package. Mm -hmm. um, so you can use it for fishing chores. You can use it for a little bit of sawing. I it's killing me. It is absolutely killing me that it is crooked like that. The thing is that our knife blade is embedded in this plastic plug, so it's really only as strong as this plastic is when it comes to using it. You got your ferro rod, um, which you can strike with the 90 degree back of this knife blade. Um, a damn near useless whistle. Well, the cool thing is if you get yourself some more bits that aren't rusty, you know, you can use it as a screwdriver. Oh, it does, I, shoulder straps right here. My apologies. It has a shoulder strap in the back. And then... The thing that we've all been waiting for. Somebody complained when I was talking once about these folding shovels and the military issue e-tool that it had a secondary purpose as a weapon or something. Somebody said that that's totally not true, that you can never do it, that uh, I don't know what they were saying, that basically it was not true. In the United States Army, I don't know if they still are, but when I went to basic training, we were taught to use the entrenching tool um, as a, a, a weapon in hand-to-hand -hand combat if we had to. Um, or unarmed combat anyway, you know, without your firearm. Um, this edge is not totally sharpened, but you've got a saw edge over here, you've got a blade over here, and we were taught to use the E-tool, you know, um, as a melee weapon, basically, uh, when necessary. There, any shovel can be used as a weapon, but when they give you, and this has a sharpened edge, just like the American E-tool does. So this works just like the, you know, issued E-tool. You can put it 90 degrees like a hoe, or you could put it, you know, regular like an actual shovel. And here is the completed thing. Now, I actually like this design a little bit more than the standard E-tool, only because you're not as bent over doing your digging as you are with the E-tool. Um, still not as comfortable to use as a standard size shovel, but you're not, I mean, regular entrenching tool basically is about that big, uh, the first handle length. This gives you a little bit more leverage and a little less aching back digging a fighting position or whatever. Um, plus, you do get a blade and the other items. <clears throat> you also get on here, this will cut some cord. You get additional, you need two whole bottle openers here. Look, you get a bottle opener on the blade and you get a bottle opener on your shovel. So, you know, you can open two bottles at once if you need it. So you can find these things, I mean, honestly, about 50 bucks on Amazon is, is what you find these shovels for. And they come by different brand names, whatever. And it has one of these little compasses that I never have too much faith in um, on the top. I have, I think, three of these now in the stockpile. Might put one of them in the giveaway. Um, <clears throat> now, so like I said, you might find it a little bit cheaper. You might not, I, I don't know. Um, these are not, I mean, they're not bad. 
they're, like I said, better in my opinion than the standard entrenching tool because it gives you a, a longer handle and a little bit more comfortable dig. Um, if you need to use it for slashing, um, it certainly gives you more leverage that way. Um, it could be used for, like I said, chunky food because this rated part. <coughs> this is um, a fairly capable wood saw right there. Yeah. You could use it to actually make some new food. Mm -hmm. It's got a hoe. Yeah, you can use it for your gardening, digging, whatever. And, um, and then it does. I mean, you like an entire gardening tool because if you use the wood saw, you can chop down any trees that are blocking the sunlight for your plants. Yeah. And it is, I mean, it's a decent shovel too. It, it's small, but it does work as well as any military issue e-tool does. Um, the only difference is the e-tool has kind of the, the spade grip handle, so it gives you a little bit more digging in leverage going straight down into the earth than this does, but that's by a matter of degrees, who knows, so. Not bad, I'll put this in, I like it, cause you know, at first I was skeptical of them, I have used them, um, and they're not, not bad at all, so. At the end of the day, we have um, one, two, three, four like it, three mehs, and three don't like it. So, what are your guys' opinions? How would you rack and stack everything that came in this box? You agree, disagree? It's fine to disagree, guys. Go ahead and say, you know, your opinions. I mean, your opinions are your opinions. Make sure you check the video description for cool links, Patreon page, uh, Facebook page, uh, Discord server, email addresses, all that other fun stuff. Definitely expect to see some of this stuff going into the giveaway. Be on the lookout for the bug out bag, how to choose your bag video coming any day now, and other fun stuff. In the meantime, I think you're totally awesome. Peter Kitty Cat obviously thinks you're totally awesome. Me too. We appreciate every single one of you, and... We'll be back real soon in my birthday month, maybe. If it's in January. We'll be back sooner than that. Okay. Real sooner. Okay. Ah. Good. Okay. 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 Fine. Okay. Then go.